Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade or replace the graphics card in a small form factor PC. This one I will be demonstrating on is a Dell Optiplex 790, but it is similar for most small form factor PCs. Now before we get started, I would just like to say that I'm sorry that I have been very inactive lately. I will plan to make more videos if I have time, but recently between basketball workouts and just some other things going on in my life, I have not had a whole lot of time to make YouTube videos. But anyways, let's get started. So as you can see, we are actually going to have to use both of the ports on the back of the computer here for the VGA and the DVI and HDMI here. This is an NVIDIA 1050 Ti that we will be putting in this computer. This is a small form factor. As you can see, I've already put the bracket on here that makes it into the two brackets instead of the one long bracket, which you can use on a full size PC, but you will need to go ahead and put this sort of bracket on it or it could be different depending on what graphics card you use but you will have to put the stacked um, brackets here for the different outputs. So next we need to remove the side panel on the PC. For a lot of small form factors there will be either a tab or a lever back here that you can pull or some kind of handle on the top or in my case there will be on the side and you will just pull and the side panel will come off just like that. So depending on if you already have a graphics card inside of your PC, you will see it here in the PCIe slot here. Um, if you already have one, a lot of them will have a tab just like this one that you pull. And as you can see, these uh, slots here on the side are now exposed. And the graphics card, it might take a little bit of uh, force, but your old graphics card should just come out. Be careful though not to bend the PCIe um, connection on the bottom if you want to sell or reuse your graphics card. Now if your computer does not have a graphics card then obviously you can skip that step but there will still be two metal plates that you can take out of your computer to allow for the ports on the new graphics card. So let me go ahead and give a little background about PCI Express which is this connector here that the graphics card uses to transfer data from the motherboard to the graphics card. So there are different sizes of PCI Express. The most common for graphics cards at least is X16, which is what you see here. But on some older computers, your motherboard may only have an X8 slot, which essentially means that this PCI or these two PCI Express slots will be about half the length. If your computer does have that, no worries, your graphics card will still work. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in the new graphics card. It may take a little bit of moving it around to get it just right. It will take a little bit of force to actually push it in, but if you feel like you're pushing too hard, just always be careful with it because you can bend the motherboard and the PCI Express, but it does take just a little bit of force to actually get it to go in, so don't worry about that. Okay, so as you can see, the new graphics card is fully installed. Okay, so now all that's left is to go ahead and put the side panel back on your PC. And just like that, you have successfully upgraded or replaced the graphics card in your small form factor PC. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. As usual, if you have a question or comment, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, I'm sorry for not posting lately. I hope that I can get back to posting on a semi-regular schedule. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.